next step would be the function analysis. So the first thing is you define functions, of course. So let's start with the complete assembly bottle and uh, the function effects. I will insert in the design FMA bottle very first system element. I will rename it and double click on it and then change the name. I will change it to top level effects. So in here I can insert what are my functions of my bottle or my function effects. Let's start with the complete assembly bottle. According my production drawing, I see here a uh, special characteristic. I inserted here a special characteristic on this dimension. And maybe you know it, special characteristics need to be inserted into the design FMA and the process FMA and the control plan and also in your local documents and also in the design FMA. For this characteristic, I will add a function on my second level. The characteristic itself is inserted into the third level in my geometry from the complete assembly. Why? Because characteristics or every dimension on the drawing you can measure and everything you can measure is inserted in the design FMA in the third level, in the root cause level. And every function is inserted in the second level and the effect, of course, in the top level. So everything I can measure will be inserted in the third level. And in this case, I have my dimension. I will call it the distance between lower edge from the bottle to the lower edge of the logo. And I would also call it like this. So you have here functions and product characteristics. And I would use this icon for product characteristics or right mouse click. Then you have here the same functions or product characteristics. There's a little difference. Functions are green and product characteristics have a different color and different features. I will call it a distance from lower edge of bottle to lower edge of label. Enter and then enter. And you see it's slightly gray or blue and it also has a different icon. And what you can do with this product characteristics, you can assign them specifications. And what are specifications? These are these dimensions here. 130 plus minus 0.3. I will type in here 130 unit millimeter and plus minus 0.3. And then you will see this at the end of the product characteristic. This is a variant specific field. So if you have different variants, you can change this value from variant to variant, but the text will remain the same. This is not possible with a function. This is why I recommend to use product characteristics for, for everything which we will insert with dimensions. What else needs to be inserted here is the classification, this significant characteristic symbol. I have a standard one, SC, but under administration, you can insert your own symbols, new entry, type in, double click on the standard and here you can choose whatever you want from this palette here. Or you can also type in a text and then you can choose this as a classification. But I will change it back to my special characteristic. I defined my measurable function from the production drawing. Of course, there are a lot of more measurable functions or dimensions, but at least the special characteristics must be inserted. My distance is my product characteristic on the third level. Then I will go a level higher to the complete assembly bottle. And here I need to insert a corresponding function to this characteristic. So I inserted the characteristic and what is the function of my complete assembly regarding my product. And the function I will call ensure correct position of label on assembly. This is my function related to my complete assembly. So my complete assembly must ensure that the label is on the correct position. And this is the failure mode or at the second level. Then I go one level up to my top level effects and think about what is the function regarding this function, correct position of my label on assembly. 
let's call it very general visual appearance. So my bottle needs to fulfill some visual appearance. And on the top level, you can insert all your requirements, your mechanical requirements, your electrical requirements, your customer requirements. So every requirement you have, you can insert in, in the top level. So defined functions, of course, this is the most important point in the FMA because based on the functions, you will create failures. Based on the failures, you will create the failure net. Based on the failure net, you will create actions, occurrence detection, and so on. So please make sure that you define your functions correct because this is the basis for your complete FMA. And if you miss a function, you will probably miss a potential failure later on. I created one function for my complete assembly bottle. Let's do the next. My next level would be my complete bottle with the cap assembled. Here I have also a special characteristic. It's called water inside the bottle, 500 milliliter plus minus two. And here I will do the same. I will go to the complete bottle with cap and it's a measurable geometry of my production drawing. So I will insert it on the third level. And this is my geometry complete bottle with cap. Here I will insert the same product characteristic and I will call it in best cases the same as it is on the production drawing. Water inside the bottle. I will choose amount of fluid inside the bottle. And here again classification. I can select the significant characteristic from the drawing. And under specification I can insert my 500 plus minus 2 milliliter. 500 milliliter plus minus two and then i inserted this the second level regarding this function would be the complete bottle with cap and what is the function of my complete bottle with cap regarding this product characteristic i would say ensure correct amount of fluid inside the bottle with cap i have here a typing error you can just click one time, then it you comes into the text edit mode or with F2 on your keyboard, you can also change the text or double click, it will do the same. I defined the function for my complete bottle with cap and the function effect. Now comes an important point. In the structure tree, I'm now in the third level. This is my first, the second and third level. But from the thinking of a form sheet, I'm in the second level. From thinking of form sheet, my geometry is my third level, my complete bottle with cap is my second level and my bottle effect is my first level because in the form sheet you only have three columns. I recommend to use this way, you can also use a different way. I recommend to use this way that you skip this level because the complete bottle with cap has the same functions as the complete SE bottle. I inserted the function ensure correct amount of fluid this is regarding this function and of course my complete assembly needs to fulfill the same function. And if I insert here the same function, this would be double work and I don't need it because my sub component already has to fulfill this function. So I can skip it on this level and jump directly to the function effects. So every function which fulfills my lower components, I don't need insert into the assembly again because this is only double work and has no benefit at all. So ensure correct amount of fluid inside the bottle with cap. I will skip my complete assembly bottle and jump directly to the effects. I have here visual appearance and my function regarding the amount of fluid inside the bottle is not a visual appearance. So I will insert here also a new function and I will call it amount of fluid inside bottle. Now I described some functions. This is the first step of your function analysis. You're defining functions. Use it like brainstorming, write down everything you think about your product needs to do. And then you can think it's a product characteristic, function or function effect. The next step would be create the function net. This is the second step of your third step function analysis. To create the function net or the failure net is the same. You have here this cherries, white cherries, I call them. And this is a hot click symbol icon you can set in the display options if you don't have it. It's a structure list, hot click symbols, and it's function net here, this one, function net and failure net. And this is very important because this shows you if this has function effects or not. And if you move the mouse over it, you see neither effects nor causes. 
If I double click with the left mouse click on it, you will open me the visual appearance function in my function net editor. And then I will do the same as I did in the definition of the functions. I will go the level deeper regarding my structure. I have my function effects, then I go to my complete assembly, and then I go to the characteristics of this complete assembly. Then I go from the function effects to my second assembly and to the characteristic of the second assembly. Then for a logo, cap and a bottle, the same. Visual appearance is my function effect. Then one level deeper would be the complete assembly. And here, the positive outcome in the function net, you think about what you need to fulfill this function is to ensure the correct position of label. So my complete assembly bottle needs to ensure the correct position of the label. And to link the function to the function from the top, just drag and drop with the left mouse button. So I hold the mouse button, then I can move it to the function. And then you see the icon of the mouse cursor changes a little bit. It's an arrow to the right and arrow to the left. And if it's pointing to the right, means I will link it to the right side as a function cause. Then I can release the mouse. And then he linked me the function to the function in the function net editor. And also the icon changed. Now the left side is green and the right side is still white. And the text also says the function has an effect. Then I will go one level deeper to my geometry, my product characteristics. And here I inserted my distance. And of course, I need my distance to fulfill this function. And also the same here, left mouse button, hold it and move the mouse to the right side and then release it. And then you created the function net. The same for my bottle with cap. And here it's important where you double click on this white cherry. If I double click on my second level, my complete bottle with cap, then I need to link to the left side my function effects and to the right side my geometry. Or I can also double click on my geometry, then I'm focused on my cause and then I need to link to the left side everything. The focus element has a big black border around the function. You see here it's a thick border and I can focus on another function with right mouse click and then make focus element. Now this is my focus element. So you can jump also here from focus to focus element. Ensure correct amount of fluid inside my bottle. The root function cause, which I need to fulfill this amount of fluid is my special characteristic from the drawing. So I will link it to the right and I'm here in the second level. So I need to go to the first level and link my amount of fluid inside the bottle to the left. Now I also created here my function net and if I show it in the AIG and VDA form, you see it here. I have my complete assembly bottle and my bottle with cap. I have my ensure functions, I have my requirements or my next higher level and the next lower level are my measurable dimensions from the production drawing. So in this I do for my complete FMEA. This will take a lot of time defining functions, defining failures and so on. I will do one more. So I defined for my complete assembly, for my bottle. And the next one, I will choose my logo, which is a single component. And here I have two special characteristics, the width and the height. And this label I have also in my FMA. I will add my special characteristics inside the FMA. I have two of them. And I would also call them as they are on the drawing. So in this case, it's the width and the height. Width of label and height of label. You can select both, click on classification, and then both of them will get the same special characteristic. I have here 220 and 22 specification, 220 millimeter plus minus 0.3. And the height was 22. These are my measurable dimensions from the production drawing. Now, what is the function of these two? This would be, let's say, the function of my label. It has visual appearance. It has a logo. It has area for glue on this side. So I will call the function regarding these two provide area to glue label and together. So think about the positive function. 
my label must ensure that there are an area to glue the labels together. And if my dimension is out of tolerance, I would say then the area could be too small. So what is then the function effect? Also in this case, I will skip my complete assembly bottle. I'm in my logo and I will skip my complete assembly because if I define the same functions on this level, I would do double work. I don't need it because I do it already in my single component. In my structure tree, I will jump directly to the top level effects, double click, function editor will open, then the label I can link. And then I need to think about what is the function effect if my label are not stick together then I probably have no label on my bottle. And what is the function or requirement regarding the label? Let's call it label on bottle. And then link to the left side. Then I defined my functions. And if you want to test your knowledge and get a certificate, then enroll to my free online course and click here to watch the full playlist about the seven steps in APIS. Thanks for watching.